consultation process between you and the front office ahead of it? Yeah. Uh, you know, with, with Mitchell, he's – that's a situation where obviously, um, you know, we understand the dynamics around it and it's uh, – you know, we have a culture in this organization, in this room, that, um, you know, we obviously don't, we don't condone what happened, and, and that will never be part of, of our team and our organization. Of, of if he's if he's with our group, um, you know, it'll be because he has shown that uh, he's learned and matured, and, and and he's come a long way. It's it's going to be a very long process for him, um, you know, and that's on him, um, you know, but. At the end of the day, um, we, you know, we can only control what we can, and that's what's in our room. And, um, you know, so if that time ever comes, and then it'll be dealt with uh, what needs to. But as of right now, um, it's a long process for him. Do you think it's fair that you, you and the other leaders are put in a position to kind of answer for a, a hockey operations decision? You know, we're a group, and, and everything that happens from uh, at any point of the year, we, we all go through it together. Uh, that's always been how this works, and and uh, you know the, the organizations had to go through things for me that I'm sure they haven't wanted to deal with. So um, you know, obviously, it's not all good and it's not all bad. You you, you go with the ebbs and flows, and um, you deal with it as a group. And and this is another situation. Marcy, what's the challenge?